This is Sarge here at C4 Defense, and today we're going to talk about how do you secure valuables in a vehicle. Say you've got to put your wallet up, or you've got to put up something like your Cosent Arms Cos 11 that I just picked up today. Say you've got to secure that in the vehicle. Are we just, just going to put it in the console and hope nobody sees it? Are we going to do that? Or are we going to try to actually secure it? I think we should try the console vault vehicle storage system. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Now console vault was nice enough to reach out to me to see if I wanted to test this in my, I got one for my 2011 Chevy Tahoe. It does have the little USB extender with it. So we're not going to lose that. And I'm just going to show you how easy this is to install. I've gone ahead and, and pre-assembled some of it, but I've only saved myself about five minutes on camera. First thing I had to do is I had to take out two screws out of the bottom of the console. There's four that hold it in. You take out the rear two screws. And then I put this trim ring on. There's two little pins back here that line it up and I set it in place. There's some adhesive tape. I took the tape off, put it on there. I went ahead and pre-installed the USB extender. The most aggravating part so far was just popping out the the existing USB port, just popping it out of the trim panel in here so we could hook it up. Um, the combination on this one, this one has the four barrel uh, numbers, the four barrel locks. It is set right now to what it is from the factory. There's instructions. I'll do another video on how to how to reset that, but right, for installation purposes, we're going to leave it right where it is, where it was set. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing dropped down in place, hook up the, the USB, and see how well it does. So, let's get this thing in here. Now, the only aggravating part, like I said, is just hooking up this USB so because we, we don't want to lose that function. We just make sure that drops down in there. This pretty much just drops in place. That's it. We get our two screws that were in the box. If I can get them out of my cup holder. And we'll get the right Phillips head screwdriver. I am going to have to get my mag light because it's getting a little it's getting a little dark in here I'm sorry that I don't have a better way of filming the installation but really all you're missing is me threading in two Phillips head screws so you're not really missing anything there let me get that one somewhat tight get this one let's see needs to go over got that started I just did the brakes on this thing today, so I thought, why not just go ahead and get this console vault installed, and we'll be good to go. Because do we want to rely on just covering something up? Like I said, we put it in there. The only thing stopping anyone from getting our valuables is a door lock and some glass. At least with this, this is steel construction it has a very good lock in it i'm sure there's more instructions i'll put the all the specs on the screen right here as we do this there we go that is locked in the console and we've got our usb port and it's got some padding for sitting our valuables back down in there that goes in the bottom there this goes that may go right there goes that way and that's it. Now I can put my $1,700 Cosent Arms Cos 11 down in there. And it is absolutely secure. So like I said, console vault. I'll have a link in the description below. It took just two seconds to, to pre-fit everything and just took a second to install. This thing is good. It looks factory. It is awesome. This is a great investment. I think these are around 270 bucks, something like that, $269 MSRP. They have a digital version. It's a couple, it's like 30 or 35 bucks more. So really for 300 bucks, you can make your vehicle very secure. It's good insurance. It'll take care of everything. Like I said, consolevault.com.
Congratulations for making it to the end of the video. Smash that subscribe button if you like what you saw. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. Smash that subscribe button anyway. If you want to find out more information about this or other products, follow us on Facebook. Check out our Instagram and our Twitter as well. If you want to see one of my favorite videos, click here. If you want to see videos from my buddies, Gizzard Gary, The Gun Snob, and Obnoxious One, smash here. See you on the range.